We're making triple berry chia seed jam. This is a reduced sugar jam recipe using just five ingredients. Our featured berry is strawberries, which you'll wash and chop off the tops, but we're also throwing in blueberries and blackberries. Now there's no secret behind why I'm choosing the berries here, that's just what was available at my local grocery. We'll cut our berries into smaller pieces, at least the strawberries, and this will help us speed the cooking process along. Now if you have raspberries or boysenberries, please go ahead and use those. You need four cups of berries in total. Then we'll add one and a half cups of granulated white sugar and one quarter cup chia seed. Chia seeds are small, bland seeds that are hydrophilic, meaning water loving. Add your ingredients onto your stovetop and turn your flame to medium high heat and add one to two tablespoons of fresh squeezed lemon juice, making sure to catch all of the seeds and grab any seeds that accidentally fall in. I'm gonna mash my berries to help the cooking process along and to mix in the sugar. This will prevent the bottom of the pan from browning or burning that sugar. Let the mixture sit which will allow the juices from the berries to be released. And as the heat rises, your mixture will start to boil. <laughs> Eventually it looks like actual berry soup, but over time it will reduce and it becomes thicker, darker, uh, more translucent, more shiny. We still see some of that foam at the top until about 20 minutes, like here. The foam's pretty much gone. That's how we know we're ready to turn our heat onto low. And this is where the chia seeds do their magic. Look at how thick they make this mixture. Chia seeds have special fiber which allows it to thicken naturally. After it cools down, you can see how dark it looks and how there's no more foam. That means you're ready to go. So let it cool off a little bit so that you don't accidentally burn yourself. And if you have a funnel, transfer it into a mason jar using your funnel. But if you don't, use a measuring cup like I'm using here. This recipe makes about one pint of jam be sure to use proper canning techniques to prevent it from spoiling. Enjoy this once it's open for about three months. Yum!